I told Jared that we should not tow the boat with the Nissan, and this is what happens. Nobody in the back seat. Nobody in the front seat. This is the young property to be doing this with. There's a, there's a whole process that goes with this. You guys can't just be doing stuff like this. No, that Pulling detective mayor. was awfully familiar with this car without even just a Nissan in the river, and he didn't want anybody going near it. We put it there purposefully. It's a cover up. We're going to show you how we got this car out of the river. You're gonna have a good time watching this today because when I put the word out that there's a car in the river, I tend to get a couple of people to show up. Patty Mail, hey, thanks for buying a boat. It was under blackmail circumstances. What kind of vehicle is it? Nissan four door. But there might be a second car in there, or a third. So, so if we see a Jeep, like a we're gonna go for the Jeep for Chris instead of the Nissan. So we're gonna take two lift bags on one side. The car is currently upside down, so we'll lift it up. We'll attach both bags. I'll take lead on one bag. You want to take lead on the other? Sure. With Richard. So okay. you and Richard will uh, partner up. Pat and I will partner up. So if we do the math, is that a full scuba tank going to fill one of those up? Uh, one scuba tank is going to lift 2,400 pounds. So we're going to need two scuba tanks total. So we'll go on a scouting mission so we have eyes on it. Everybody knows where the first car is at. Let's go see if we can actually identify where the second one is at and mark both of them. Cool. Okay. And we'll decide what to do from there. Where we're going today is we're going to bring the car back here to the boat ramp, but where we're starting off is going to be at the Selwood Bridge up here in Portland, Oregon. So over there on the right hand side is our mission. Let's go. We'll find the car. Someone's got to watch. Paul's swimming out to the second marked buoy, and he was going to meet you on the top and go back down with you when you retrieve the first marked buoy. Got the first one. All right, we're heading back in. We'll see you when we have a car. Will you come back up? Jared and Patrick are out. There was a malfunction with the lift bag. Clear it out, clear it out, it's on the move. Scott, yeah. scab it up. So the story is it's just one of those lift bags for 1,500 pounds. Look at that, they're, look how far down they're getting there. So uh, anyway, Nick and, uh, who's down there? Nick, Paul, and uh, Richard. Just one bag is actually lifting the car off the bottom right now. What is Jared doing? Talking the dog. Uh, he's hanging out on the boat with the lift bag. I think he's taking it, letting the air out and getting ready to regroup. Good thing we brought them because uh, Pat and I, we're, we're no good at this game evidently. I got lost and then I ran out of air and then my dive computer he was yelling at me and then I had boogers. Wait, if it was tied onto that yellow thing, where the hell is it? It's probably, I don't know if it's just not really moving. Or it might have hung up again. Oh, there it is, right there. I, I'd come in. I'd move the boat. Move the boat. Move the boat. Move the boat.
Is it attached to the car? I was touching it with my fins a minute ago. He said he was touching it with his fins a second ago. Sounds like you're trying to start the car. Yeah, keep it turned over. We'll sell it on eBay as slightly used. Hey, I'm standing on the car right now. Sounds like you're trying to start it. Yeah, a little bit. Try new spark plugs. You need to jump. Oh, it's a spark plug? Yeah. All right, we're gonna pop one more uh, airbag up on here. We'll see if we can ride this down the river. He said we got another uh, Honda and a Jaguar down here too. He said he's got a Honda and a Jaguar down there too. <laughs> okay, you hold the end. I'll hold the, you hold the end, ready? How's the trick? I know Good. how much flatter time I got left, so let's, we, let's get moving. Yeah, I got ya. Ready? No, Nick's already attacked on his boat. Oh, okay. We'll yeah. just do that. Yep. Just get out of the way. Yeah, grab it. It's right there. Yeah. Even closer. Jared's got to pee, and so he's really going to get frustrated, so we're just going to go our, our own pace. <laughs> All right, Nick, come on, rescue Jared. I'm going. I'm going in. Good dramatic, guys. Good, good dramatic scene. All right, it's a wrap on scene rope. Hey, Jared. Nick. Cause Nick gave it back! Oh. <laughs> we're so good, right, we're coming! Make it look dangerous! No! <laughs> uh, yeah, hey, uh, we're divers. We're down here in the uh, Willamette, south of, or uh, downstream of the Selwood Bridge, and we have a four door Nissan that uh, we've floated up, and we need a uh, officer to meet us at the Willamette Park boat ramp. We're towing it now. We're towing it now, so we'll be there in uh, 20, 25 minutes. You want to grab me my sunglasses instead of the mask case? Okay, oh, we're divers, so we run into stuff all the time. It's a uh, four-door Nissan, so we need to have them uh, show up so we can run VIN numbers, and uh, we also have a tow company coming. And uh, yeah, we'll figure things out when uh, everybody gets there. We got a uh, we got uh, local PD mask, coming down. Case Nick, top my tow us down there. All right. Doing a circle. We're grabbing hard. We can't even turn to up river or down river. So we're re-rigging the boat system because the pontoon is pulling the car down the river. It's dragging behind and it's it's pulling the pontoon under and it almost sank the boat. So uh, I guess we're putting air in Jared's dry suit and trying to lighten him up. We're doing the obvious smart thing by hooking it to the smaller boat. This because that wouldn't be fun to hook it to this. We'd already be there. <laughs> Who wants to see that? Jared is literally so fat we can't even allow him on a boat. We have to tow him down the river with lift bags. Not very nice to me. Come on, Richard, come through, Richard. All right, we got it. Hold on to it. He said, do not touch that car. That could be a crime scene, and that's like walking into a homicide and disturbing everything. Get the bin number and let it alone. All right, what's going on? So Portland PD just called. Right. And they said, you seem very concerned about our activities down here. You said, that's a contracted situation that can only be conducted by a contractor. No, it's not. Uh, local police or the river patrol, I forget what he was saying. But he sounded pretty heated and he said that could be a potential crime scene. And just like any crime scene, you don't disturb the crime scene. It's been down there for 
many years. Well, then they need to do their job. Well, some would say. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Ask you guys what you sell There's a uh, car. A car? Yeah. Boat ramp. The old boat ramp? Yeah. All right, so at this point, I mean, they're clearly not doing their job. It's a safety concern if we drop the car at this point. So at this point, we have to take this car over. They can be mad at us, but the car needs to be taken over there. It's got fuel and oil in it. Are we just going to leave that in the river? I mean, come on. No, we're, we're taking it out of the river. I mean, one local PD guy may be mad about this, but we're taking the car. We're going to do our part. We're still taking it. I agree. Yeah, we're taking it to him. I agree 100%. We're getting it out of the river. Are we on board with that? Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll take responsibility. I'm on board, yeah. All we right. gotta get it out of here. Yeah, what are they gonna do? Yeah. Yeah. If they think it's a crime scene, if they're that in belief that it's a crime scene, why are they not investigating the crime? It, it would be a, you can't just say, oh, it's a crime scene, we'll get to it later. That's not a thing. They know there's a car down there. It doesn't get caught. It, I think this is maybe an overzealous police officer, but I also lean towards respecting what they say to do. So it's, we're going to continue to clean the river. I'll really change your decision. But I think, I disagree. I So in case you guys couldn't hear, while we respect the police department's decision, Jared has decided to take the, take the car up because we disagree with their decision. That's that. <laughs> Peace zoop, zoop. So now, this is the river patrol's job. He's gonna give them our number and they're gonna call us. So hopefully we'll get to see the river patrol in here and we can hand this over to them and tell them I'd like to see them clean the rest of them out from underneath that bridge because that's disgusting. River patrols on the way. Well, huh? kinda. Is the sheriff gonna come? No, he turned us over to the, he pawned us off to the river patrol. And they're supposed to be getting a hold of us, so I'm waiting for that phone call. Now then, let's what do you say? I know. If he can get that thing to go, just keep heading towards the boat ramp. Okay? I just got done talking to Multnomah County Sheriff's Office for the patrol. Okay. Those vehicles you, you're disturbing are the ones they use for dive practice. They want them there. And if you bring them ashore, you're going to be responsible for the multi-thousand dollar removal of them. So you needed to talk to them before you start touching stuff. It's their property and they dive on them for training. Okay? Okay. Do you have their number? I just spoke to the officer. I can't give you his number because he's on the river right now. But you're not to touch those vehicles. He said to leave them alone. They're well aware that's what they used to dive on and train on in the river. Okay, do they know where we're at? Are they going to come over here? They know where they're at. They, they go out to them all the time. Okay. So, but you guys shouldn't be doing that to begin with because you would be paying the thousands of dollars to remove them because that's what it costs them to remove them. What, uh... Yeah, we already have a contract to get it removed, so that's no yeah, big deal. You're not listening. This isn't your property to be doing this with. You, there's, a, there's a whole process that goes with this. You guys can't just be doing stuff like this without coordinating. Okay? Okay. It's trash cleanup when you're doing this type of stuff. It goes beyond that. Okay? Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I know. You may not be aware of it, but... I talked to the, the river patrol deputies themselves, and I'm familiar with the law and case law in Oregon and what we deal with, so there's some things you guys got to check off before you start doing things on your own. Yeah, and I I sure, I sure appreciate your info, and actually I will get in touch with them and find out all about that. Thank you so okay. much for all that info. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, take care. Yep, Thanks. you too. Have a good day. Bye. Hi, Richard. Sergeant Steve Tangler with Multnomah County Sheriff's Office River Patrol. Sounds like you got a little bit of the runaround here in regards to the vehicles and uh, 
it sounds like there was some miscommunication between uh, Portland police and what they were relaying to us and what information they got. But if you guys are cleaning things up, I want to say thank you, and it is greatly appreciated. Um, if you have any questions, concerns, or anything, give me a call, 503 781 Thanks, Richard. Bye. Nick, we made it! Looks like our tow guy is here. Let's go uh, make some introductions and come up with a good game plan. How does it sound, Nick? Let's do it. I heard you got an apology phone call. Well, uh, no, actually, uh, Richard did. Not necessarily me. Uh, pushing out is the hard part. I don't know if we're getting that far out. What trailer's yours? All right, go. Well, after the little issues with the uh, local PD, we're good to go. Plus, we've got Elite Towing here from Portland. If you need any towing needs, Elite Towing is your team. I'm Jared. How's it going, Brandon? Brandon, pleasure to meet you. Nice Thanks for coming you. out today. As soon as the other boat gets out of the way, we're going to be able to pull this around. We're going to see what this Nissan actually looks like. Hey, Richard. What you got there, buddy? Oh, you know, a Nissan. <laughs> just, just your Nissan? Do you yeah. When you go diving, do you always take your Nissan with you? I try. It doesn't always make it though. That's beautiful. You guys missing the uh, four-door Nissan? No, we're not. Yeah. Do you want to buy a four-door Nissan? <laughs> yeah. It's only been in the water one time. Well, this car's already dragging the bottom, so. See how far that rope goes. Watch in case it snaps, turn your head. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm standing behind Brandon just in case the uh, rope does snap. There you it goes. All right. We need this, this strap hooked up to us. Was it a hoop? Yeah, yeah, I guess it is, isn't it? Hook it to the chain. Is it on? Yep. <laughs> Jared, how bad do you have to pee? Huh? How bad do you have to pee? Well, the good thing is, once I get out, I've got the little pee zipper, so I can stay in my suit for a long time. Oh, yeah, but right now, I just don't want to miss any action. Well, so I'm afraid to even leave right now. I hear you. Do we even know what color this car is? Rust. Rust color? I think it's white. I'm not sure. Watch out, that's mine's going to come up right on Yeah, it's going to run up your ass. Now, which one was it? Uh, I, I don't even remember now. <laughs> Nick, are we in the kill zone here? Like Cape, I've seen, I've seen like, kill, we should go this way. Is that a Yugo? No, it's a Nissan. Oh. Jared, help this bag along so we can get caught in. But yeah, little did I know, I was actually on the passenger side, so that screwed the whole oh, thing up so for mine. I did. You did right, I did wrong, so. <laughs> Jared, bring the keys? I brought the keys. We can unhook that one bag over here. I got caught on the car when I came up. Yeah, uh -huh. oh. yeah, the river patrol purposely sunk this, uh-huh. <laughs> I guess it's gonna be a good Oh, I think I just downed the car. No body in the back seat. No body in the front seat. Yeah, I don't know if we can or not. Why did you come with that kind of coach? <laughs> what year is that thing, uh, Mr. Lysak? I'm not getting ready to bend. I have no idea, but I'll check the registration for you in just a minute. We don't want to break and tear the new dry suit. Anybody else we forget? We're good now? All right. You want to know what's in the trunk, Chris? Yeah. Uh, we have right. an ice scraper. That's about it. And the keys are still in it. Oh, is it really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's stuck. <laughs> it's stuck. Sentra. Sentra. 
I'm gonna guess 1989 after doing some uh, quick little investigating on my own up here. Uh, now when we get back, we'll look at the footage and I'll take it to my lab and confirm that. But I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's what's going on here. Yeah, see, my first one came off. I didn't want that one coming off. Yeah, you're not, not supposed to put it like that. Yeah, look how good it is. Didn't come off at all. No one checked the glove Hey, don't box. be throwing your garbage in my oh, car. That fell out of it. What's in the glove box? Oh, nasty. That's not empty. There's still registration in there. We can tell them whose car it is. Oh, the VIN number's clear. No, I think we actually have the registration here. Plastic still? I think those pills are still good. Patrick. Yeah. Look at that. We found his car. Call him up. Somebody left someone up on Facebook. I think his picture's on there, too. Let's save that. There's something else here. What's the name? We don't need the pills. Uh, we'll find it. Patrick something. Whoa, 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 whoa! What Do you it? see what that is? No, what is Money it? laundering. Look, those are, uh, that's a print right there. Isn't that a $100 bill? Oh, yeah. Carefully pick that up. No way. No, is it? No, it's not. It what looks is like it? it? Oh, all right, it's just a pattern. <laughs> it's Still. money laundering. Yeah, but look at that one. Before I wash it off. Oh, what's, what's the name? What's the name, Patrick what? Anything on that one? Yeah, but it's washing right off. Here's what I need to know. In order for you to pull a car out of the river like this, do you have to be contracted with the uh, local law enforcement or oh, anything? Oh yeah, it's a big deal. Now, um, you either have to be contracted with them or the, apparently, according to the local police uh, officer that we talked to, um, they're purposely sinking them in the river for dive training. Yeah, that's what he told me. Now. Just by the looks of it and all the oil caked all over it, I'm having a hard time finding they're purposely sinking vehicles with fuel and is oil this, into the river. Is this the car river. that the police sunk in the river with all yeah. the oil in it and the fuel in it? I, yeah. I heard that too. It's unbelievable. We're going to have to talk to the uh, local authorities around here, the city of Mayor, or city you of Portland Mayor. You know, that detective Mayor. was awfully familiar with this car without even just a Nissan in the river, and he didn't want anybody going near it. We put it there purposefully. It's a cover up. Hey Nick, so I'm editing this car video and I'm at the point to where uh, you were talking about the, the year of car you thought it was and uh, like right near the same time I just got a call from the owner that we tracked down. So first of all Nick, I gotta break it to you. The car is not a 1989. It was actually a 1993 Nissan Sentra. Dang it, I was wrong again. Yeah, and now here's the, uh, here's the history of it. Back in 97, the car was actually stolen uh, late, late one night from an apartment complex. The kid was 22 at the time. He's like 45 years old now. That car has been underwater since 97. 20, oh, wow. 22 years that car's been underwater, Nick. That's amazing. I know. Anyway, the, uh, he didn't want to go on camera. He's uh, kind of a well-known now. So um, the crazy thing is he actually ended up losing his job later on because he didn't have a reliable car. His car, the insurance company paid it off but the car was underwater, like, like literally, in, in two, two, <laughs> no, in pun no pun intended. <laughs> anyway, uh, so the insurance company paid it off, but he still owed money on it. As a 22-year-old struggling college kid, he couldn't afford to pay for it and uh, couldn't afford a new car. Ended up losing his job. Interesting. Yeah. That's a crazy story. So, it's amazing what you can figure out just by finding something like that under the water. You know what's even crazier though, and I and I keep pondering this, is that the uh, PD wanted nothing to do with it. They wouldn't even come down and run the VIN number, Nick. I mean, I'm still dumbfounded by the way that the uh, Portland uh, Police Bureau, Bureau handled this, handled this yeah, uh, situation. That, that kind of blew me away too, uh, the fact that they almost were trying to tell us to they don't want to know anything about it. It was kind of just like out of sight, out of mind. Keep your hands out of there. That's not your property. Um, different stories that were we found out later were completely made up. Um, those were purposely sank down there for diver training um, for the river patrol. 
Um, it was kind of weird. It was almost as if there was some sort of cover-up going on. I don't know what that was all about, but it was a little disappointing. Yeah, you know, moving forward, though, I mean, I hope that they see this video, and I hope that they reach out to us, and they actually want to work with us moving forward, because there's more cars in there. There's that Jaguar that's in there. There's a Honda that's in there. There's some other cars that we haven't identified the uh, makes and models yet, so, like I said, I, I hope that we can work with them, as well as the, uh, the that River Patrol uh, sergeant, though. He was, he was pretty cool, so I look forward to meeting up with him next time we're up there. Yeah, absolutely. All right, sir. Hey, I gotta get back to the video, and uh, hey, appreciate it. Uh, we'll chat soon. Yeah, thanks for the phone call. We'll talk to you later. All right, later. Bye. Bye, bye. So once they pick up the car, what does the tow truck driver do with it? I think uh, they try to see if there's any uh, insurance that was on it at the time. If so, then they can actually get the. Ha <laughs> You're stuck. Hey, do you need a tow truck? <laughs> call Elite Towing. I hope he can't get out. Yeah. Brandon might be working overtime today. Uh, anyway, back to your uh, answer, question. The uh, insurance, if it happened to be insured at the time, then I believe that the tow company can actually get the uh, money from the insurance company. Uh. And if we take it even further, we can actually be reimbursed for our efforts in getting the car out. Interesting. I mean, because I mean, you're at least what, four fifty an hour? Well, now that's twenty five thousand dollars per car. Yeah. So, so uh, we divide so, that between the crew and. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Did, Did he really? This? Oh yeah. He goes. You don't. Know, you're gonna take that out. You're gonna have to pay for the the, the fee, and that's twenty three thousand dollars. Do you want to be responsible for that? Well, I think we did it he for. Really? He. he Honestly, did not want this car out of the river. I don't think he, he wanted it in there, polluting it out of the river for the next 30 yeah. years. We want to give a big shout out to all of our sponsors that made this possible. We got Patty Mayo here, who supplied a boat for us, as well as Nick Wren, who also had boat number two. We've got Chris as our uh, backup diver. Actually, he forgot his BCD, so no backup diver, but he, you know, you got in, I didn't you? Yep. He got in. He actually found a Jaguar and a Honda. So you might see that coming up on additional episodes. We've got Paul Freeman in the back. We've got Rich here back there. And we've got Elite. Elite is brand new to us. If you need any towing services anywhere in the Portland metro area, Elite Towing represent. They're the ones that actually came out. They were involved with us, cleaning up the river, getting this stuff out. We really appreciate them. We also want to thank O3, who has now sponsored Patrick and I. We now have new dry suits, so that way we can do a lot more diving, get more cars, get more trash out of the environment. Who else do we need to thank? Oh, OTS! We cannot forget OTS. OTS are the ones that supplied our full face mask. We also want to give a big shout out to Carter Lift Bags. Thank you, GMN crew over there, for hooking us up with four 1500 lift bags. Without your lift bags, we would have never got this car, and we look forward to pulling out a lot more cars in the future. Thanks, Jim. We've also got Brian here from All Seasons RV and Marine. He helped hook us up with a uh, boat that uh, Pat is now the proud new owner of. If you need a boat or an RV anywhere in Central Oregon, or you're even in the Portland market, Washington, it doesn't matter, you come to Central Oregon, Brian here will hook you up with a boat. Cannot forget Evo Gimbals. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Hans, over there at Evo Gimbals for hooking us up with the with the uh, what? Oh, they hooked us up with the Insta360 as well as the Evo Rage 2 that we're shooting on today. So, if you want any smooth camera footage, go check out evogibbles.com for all your camera needs. We also want to thank Central Oregon Diving. They hooked us up with a ton of air. A local guy, James, also supplied a couple of tanks for us. That wraps up another episode of Adventure with Purpose. You're going to be seeing Pat is going to be, in fact, You've already released your first diving video by the time people see this one. And I haven't even... What happened? Well, I'm not, I'm not going to tell what happened. There's girls on my diving videos. So. There could be. There couldn't be. No, there are. If you've not already done so, make sure to subscribe and turn on the little bell notification. That way you get an instant notice. Other than that, you came with me. Look, I can keep getting farther forward. Because you keep you. foreshadowing. Me. All right. Patty Mayo, as well as our entire diving crew. We'll see you on the next one. Later, later. Bye-bye.